Hi, my name is Blake Bueller. I'm a junior music composition major. Um, I first was interested in music uh, from a really young age. Uh, I was in piano lessons at age three. So that's really the foundation of uh, where all my music comes from. Um, later then in elementary school, I started playing the flute. And then um, even later than that, I started playing guitar. Um, I wrote my first piece of music when I was actually six years old. Um, and I've been writing pretty much ever since. Um, but I really, really got into it in high school and realized that it's what I want to do. Um, it's definitely what I love most. Um, I would describe my style as sort of a modern impressionism. Um, I really love bringing out emotions and sort of painting um, imagery and pictures uh, through my music. Um, so on my recital, uh, it's all original compositions by me um, that I wrote in about 2019 to 2020. Um, so the first work on my recital is a song cycle called To Justify Despair. Uh, it's being performed by soprano Addison Ballou and pianist Lauren Clifford. Um, it's a setting of some Emily Dickinson poetry. It's a setting of four of her poems, um, some really beautiful poems that were an incredible challenge um, to set, but very rewarding. Um, the second piece on my recital is called The Space Between Us. Uh, it's a solo flute piece, and it's being performed by Jack Markowitz, uh, who happens to be one of my best friends. Um, I actually started writing this piece in high school. Um, that's really when the inspiration for it struck, but I didn't finish it. Um, until my sophomore year here. Uh, and it's about the way relationships change over time. And it's about how there are people who come into your life um, who don't necessarily always stay, but everyone has a meaningful impact. Um, and it's about the importance of those relationships. Um, and the final work on my recital is called Chanson pour l'amour non partagé. Uh, it's a French title that translates to a song for unrequited love. Uh, it's for solo piano and it's being performed by Abby Wildman. Um, I'm really excited about this recital. Um, it's the first time that all of my works have been sort of compiled into one performance. Um, and I'm really looking forward to it. The performers have all done just an amazing job preparing. Um, and I'm just so grateful for them, uh, to be playing my works, uh, on Monday night. Um, my favorite artist, um, as a composer, who I draw inspiration from is definitely um, choral composer Eric Whitaker. Um, he's actually a lot of the reason I ended up becoming a composer. I saw him live my junior year of high school, um, and it changed my life, um, just seeing the way his music affected people and how it affected me, and just hearing the, his music, it was completely life-changing. Uh, I'm not sure I can put it into words. Um, some other composers I draw inspiration from are uh, Italian composer Ludovico Iannaudi. Uh, he's a piano composer. He's really incredible. And um, minimalist composer Philip Glass. Um, but for fun, what I like to listen to um, is definitely like punk, folk punk. Um, sorry, like Cave Town and Mother Mother and um, My Chemical Romance. <laughs> um, if I could put on a concert anywhere in the world, I'm not really sure. Maybe somewhere like Russia or Vienna. Um, I think I'd really like to have my work be, you know, in more than just South Carolina or America. Um, it would be really cool if it had a global impact and to just let people experience um, what I have to say musically. Um, it would be really awesome to just perform any concert where I didn't know anyone that listened to my music. Um, so yeah, thank you so much. Uh, and I hope you enjoy my recital. <laughs>